Hi. How's it going? Good. Good to see you. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. I'm glad good. that you're doing well. Uh, yeah. So we have Philly and Chicago coming together today for our Wednesday Mindset Motivation. And yeah. I'm so, so grateful that we met through Instagram. Yeah. Uh, you, have, you have so much great advice and inspirational posting. Um, and I'm, I'm so grateful that you can introduce yourself to everybody. So if you want to kick Thank this you. off, and tell us about you. That would be so great. Sure. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So my name is Mary Claire Shabelka. I am a mental health counselor in Chicago, Illinois at a practice called Elevated Life Counseling. Mm -hmm. um, I work mostly with young adults. So typically between ages 18 to 35 um, on things like anxiety, depression, a lot of life transitions. So a lot of people who are maybe just graduating college and really getting their footing in the real world. Um, I also work a bit with eating disorders too, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of work with relationships. So anything from family relationships to romantic relationships, friendships, That's all of that. It's yeah. amazing. I, I, you're, so, you're so wise with all that you share. Whenever I see your post, it always has me you know, really involved in thinking about it. Um, Thank you. That's such great advice. And uh, we came together through a mental health mindset group that we all, you know, share and post together uh, about the important topic of mindset and its relation to mental health. So I was so happy that you wanted to come on and share your two word story. So if you want to kick it off, what is your two word story? Yeah, thanks. So my two word story is just notice. Yay. Yeah. So good. And what that means is basically being mindful, noticing um, what's going on in the world around you as well as within you. So I work a lot with, like I said, people who have anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, and growing up, I had a lot of anxiety and I actually didn't even realize that until I was older. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm a Virgo. I know you're a Virgo too. So I'm an overthinker yeah. and, um, for so long, I would just find myself like in my head all the time, overanalyzing things, whether it was relationships or, you know, school or whatever. Um, and then I discovered mindfulness and I realized that if we can just kind of take ourselves out of that headspace and just get in touch with what we're actually feeling mm -hmm. um, and what's going on in the world around us. Not only will our bodies kind of guide us and our intuition will tell us what to do, right. but also we end up enjoying life so much more yeah. and being a lot more in touch with it. It's, it's such a beautiful, beautiful two word story. And uh, yeah. I, you know, I see it as a mantra you know, you grab a hold of those two words, just notice when you are feeling a bit uneasy or you're in a place of overthinking or confusion and you're like, wait, let me, let me not keep going down this over analytical path. Let me just, yeah, just notice what my gut is saying to me, right? Like, what am I really, let me shut this down because that's where the, the stress and the, you know, anxiety can elevate when we do tend to not notice what we're what we're feeling we, we a lot of times I know I've done this many times tried to ignore what I was feeling and yeah. for days weeks at a time and all that does it's unhealthy it's like you're battling it up just yeah. notice it acknowledge it address it it's so important whether it's in a journal or talking to a therapist like just notice what you're feeling and pay attention try it try to resolve it right Exactly. And I love what you said about even if we're not feeling so great, just notice and acknowledge those feelings. Because what happens when we push out any kind of uncomfortable feelings mm -hmm. is just by nature, we end up also distancing any positive emotions. Right. So, yeah, I work with a lot of people who are like, I, you know, I just don't want to feel sad. I don't want to feel anxious, whatever it is. And mm -hmm what they don't realize is then their joy and um, their excitement and things like that end up being dulled too. Yeah. 
Absolutely. That is so true. It's so much easier for us to, it's like muscle memory. Like we'd rather remember the bad that happened than the good, I feel like. So in that, what you're saying, I, I, I do appreciate that so much because that anxiety or, or fear or self-doubt or whatever can really override anything. So you might be in a joyful situation, but you're feeling like you don't want to be there, you know, yeah. or, or you can't, you can't really fully relax and be in the moment or you're testy and moody when you're in this joyful moment, because there's something deeper going on that you need to just notice. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And life really is about that wide range of emotions, even though some emotions can be painful mm-hmm. and it's natural that we don't want to feel them. Um, really, it's just like the richness of life, yep. being able to have those ups and downs and experience everything fully. So this is a mantra that you find that you, you really pull and call upon for yourself, but then based on you, what you do for a living and helping others, you you help others just notice and really work through those problems, which yeah. is wonderful. So it's like twofold, like you're helping yourself with the mantra, but then, and it's only two words. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Easy to remember. Just notice, like, it's just such a great share for the week. I'm so grateful that we could come on and inspire everybody. And, you know, I'm curious being in Chicago, I don't know. I think, um, with licenses and whatnot, you would see only people in the Illinois area, right? Or Illinois, state of Illinois. Yes, exactly. So I can see anyone in Illinois um, as their counselor. Mm -hmm. And what that means is with counseling, you might go deeper, you might process trauma um, and things like that. But I can see anyone as a coach. Okay. the difference between counseling and coaching is coaching is a little bit more about the present and the future, sort mm-hmm. of setting goals mm-hmm. and working to accomplish them. Yeah. So there might not be that same kind of like deeper level work right. um, because yeah, my counseling license is only valid in Illinois, right. but coaching can still be really helpful for people who know that they want to change and they just need a little bit of extra guidance, figuring out what that looks like and how to get there. Absolutely. And you would be a fabulous coach because you have gotten yourself to where you are now and you're just a breath of fresh air. So I'm so grateful that you came on and shared your two word story with all of us this week. I'm so glad that you had me. Thank you. Of course. Of course. Um, Thank you to everyone who pressed play and watched this midweek motivation. And maybe you take your journal out if you haven't in a while and write just notice on the top of the page and do some free journaling on what are you noticing right now? What are you feeling? Why are you feeling it? How can you overcome it? You know, so it's, you know, we're here to support in this mindset community together uh, because day-to-day life can get really tricky and hard. So we are here for you guys. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yes, and I'll um, share all of your information so you guys can follow her account and and get that like inspiration from from a therapist standpoint which is wonderful it's like so needed i'm a big fan of therapy if you don't have a therapist <laughs> get a therapist like seriously um all right thanks everyone all right thanks bye, bye.